Morning folks, it is Saturday the 26th of January, uh, it's about 20 past 8 in the morning, no, 20 past 9 in the morning. Um, I am on the very squeaky chair, which I've tried to say hello about three or four times, and every time I've gone, morning guys, the chair's done a squeak. And I just did it then, it didn't squeak. So I hope you're all okay. Um, we are going to head off to visit Paul's dad shortly. So I am. Um, the kids are just going to get dressed, and I thought I'd show you quickly what I did last night, and then hopefully I can show you progress on what I get done today. So this is Dee Dee the Donut Monster. So I'm working on her body now. Um, I think I'm coming to some decreases. Uh, oh, you know, I think I'm towards the end, and then obviously be arms, legs. Um, the facial features and, and stuff. So she's coming along and this is just with um, some pink DK. I think it's the stuff I got from my friend's aunt who passed away so it's from uh, QD's which is a shop I think they have near uh, Katrina of Katrina's Creations. Hi Katrina. Um, so yes that is that. Uh, I'm gonna use some new fashion DK in a like a dusty pink um, for the dark pink I need and then I think I need some other colours but I'm not entirely sure and this is from yeah dark pink for the horns and stuff and then some blue or green something there for the mouth so she is from Amigurumi Monsters 2 I'm still working on well I've still got Webster to work on but I haven't touched him since I've been doing DD so two on the go from this book and I always link this below the book below um, and I always put an Amazon link in, but it, I'm sure it's sold in many other places. It's just where I have to buy mine from. So please don't feel obliged to only shop at Amazon if I only put Amazon links in. But it, at least you've got all the information there, the author or the publisher or whatever. Like, um, and then you can look for it elsewhere, should you wish to. That's my public service announcement for the day. Um, and here's the blanket. So I am on... The cream stripe, so it's it's not nearly went in my tea. Luckily, it went over the top of it, so it's not hugely wide, but it's a good baby blanket size. I haven't gone too wide for a change. Normally, my blankets are not quite wide, uh, wider than they need to be for baby blankets. So I'm going to take this with me um, <clears throat> and see how many stripes I can get done. Paul's dad lives probably. 20 something miles away, so not not a huge distance. It just seems to take a long time to get there. You, you turn onto the next bit of road and you're like, oh, we're not even close yet. <laughs> Don't know why. It seems that, that way with driving to Leicester. Um, it always seems to take a long time. My hair seems to have decided it needs cutting today, and I'm, I had, no, no, I'm not having it cut till we get paid, so. I don't I get paid but it's not long by any means obviously but um it's getting long for me I want it I'm getting quite used to having it a lot shorter um yeah no plans to gym today or anything like that uh I've got washing to sort and Jack has mentioned he wants to go to the park so maybe we'll do that later I don't know depends how long we're at um Paul's dad's for and what the weather's like, it's dry at the minute, it's cold, because I had to nip out this morning. Um, yeah, it's chilly, but it's it's still, it's not not too windy, not too, it's not, not moist, it's not rainy or drizzly or anything, so that's nice, but I don't know what it's supposed to do for the rest of the day. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it here and I'll come back and, and show you perhaps what I've got done on the blanket and tell you if we get up to anything interesting. I don't really think we will. My hair's doing my head in. I can just see bits sticking out everywhere. Um, yeah, so I hope you're having a more interesting Saturday than I am really. It's just a, you know, bumming around Saturday. We don't generally have very exciting weekends. It's just get all the stuff done and hopefully have a sit down in between. Um, it nice to see Paul's dad and his wife and um, their cat, Mr. Morris. I saw a cat this morning on uh, the main road off our estate. I think it had been hit by a car. There were some people. I 
obviously sorting it out of you know trying to find the owners but yeah keeping hit by a car it was it was still put it that way it was off the road but yeah poor thing so some poor owner's going to be very upset today i do feel sorry for them hate stuff like that um but yeah at least with people there and they were sorting it out and when i came back uh, they'd all gone and the cat had been moved so hopefully it's either been taken to the vet so they can check the microchip and contact the owner or the owner's been found but not nice people need to be more careful mm. anyway on that note i will leave it here and i'll catch up with you later hopefully tell you something exciting bye guys hi everybody um i'm back it is let me have a look quarter to four in the afternoon I just thought I'd come and finish off the video for today um, yeah so we went over to Paul's dad's um, we got stuck in traffic on the motorway on the way home which was a bit of a pain in the bum um, I had to call in at a shop and pick up some like cobs or bread or well we picked up some cobs and Paul had a cheese what's it called like a bigger um, big version of a cheese straw sort of thing he had like a pastry for his lunch because um, nothing else really took his fancy he didn't want a cob or sandwiches or anything so uh, I just picked up some cobs for the boys cobs um, we say cobs uh, rolls baps buns whatever cobs um, just in case anyone goes what is she on about so I thought I'd show you what I did so I'm now up to uh, just starting the next lot of colour repeats. Got quite a bit done in the car. Um, that's that. And I've just started stuffing the body of uh, Dee Dee, the donut monster. Um, I need to do some more shaping on the head. I'm not quite happy with it. Um, I can squeeze too much here, so I need to put some more stuffing in. Um, but yeah, I was just about to close it, you know, just working on it, close it up, and I thought, oh, I'll go and do a video now before it gets uh, any darker. It is starting to get lighter, or it's getting dark later, I should say. Um, so, that's, so that's going in the right direction. I, do, I don't particularly like dark evenings, or, you know, when it's dark by sort of just gone four o'clock in the afternoon, it's a bit, but it's getting better. So that's nice. And um, I have... Paul changed our bed today and then I went up and hoovered uh, all upstairs and like dusted around the edges and the window frames and stuff like that and um, I've, I've swept the stairs because no matter what hoovers we've had they've always gone oh they've got great extending pipes for doing the stairs or we've got um, we've got the G-Tech Air Ram and the G-Tech Multi like the handheld hoover as well and um whatever sort of hoover we've had like that nothing on the stairs has beaten a dust pattern brush or you know a brush just to sweep down the stairs so i did that hoovered all that up um yeah i haven't done it down here yet because the kids can help with that tomorrow I've got to earn their pocket money that they get off is every week regardless of whether they've actually done their jobs um we do remind them like it, we don't set hard jobs for them really it's you know um Put your uniform in the wash basket as soon as you get home and check your pockets and um, set the table for tea at night and then clean your, clean your room at the weekend and you know that's it but Toby's like well, how, how do we get extra money I'm like well you offer to be helpful around the house and then we'll we'll give you money if we think you've you know gone out your way to be helpful it's like Jack will quite often help me um, like if I wash my car or anything like that he wants to help out and he doesn't ask for money first Tony will be like if I help you can I have a pound I'm like, that's not really how it works um, I got extra last week for doing the homework while Paul was faffing sawing his car out um, but I said to him start asking you know there's plenty of stuff that needs doing if you you know ask I, you know when you see me walk in with a great big armful of washing help me fold the, you know, fold it or pair up some socks or something because they're going to, they will know how to do it, they will be <laughs> they will be house trained oh my word Paul, um, Paul and Jack are playing Lego it's Lego City, I don't know what the heck they do 
Tim has gone round to his friend's house, so they're making the most of it. They've watched some sooty, those two. <laughs> and um, then they said they'd turn it off to play a game. I was like, I was watching sooty. Well, like the older sooties, like the ones that were on when I was growing up with um, Matthew Cobb. I like him, he's funny. Um, but yeah, they're still making sooty now with a chap called Richard, who does the, the, like the puppeteer or whatever. And the, the kids love it. It's it's one of those things. That it's, I'm glad it's not um, gone out of fashion in a way. It's nice and innocent and it's funny and I like stuff like that. that. Jack still likes stuff like that. I mean, Tobin does still watch it, but he's more into the um, sort of cartoons. And he loves, we've just finished watching series three of a series of unfortunate events on Netflix with um, Neil Patrick Harris. He's brilliant, he's so good. And the kids, the Baudelaire children, are fantastic. And Sunny, the little baby, in the last one, she's not a baby and she's so adorable. She's like a little toddler, oh, so cute. Um, yeah, everyone in that, they, they, it's all really well cast and really well acted, it's brilliant. So if you haven't watched it, do. Because um, I like the Lemony Snicket film with Jim Carrey in it, but. I have to say, I think Neil Patrick Harris's Olaf is better. And it's just funny. It's just brilliant. Um, yeah, and um, because we've finished that, we've now started watching a new cartoon called Carmen San Diego. Well, where in the world is Carmen San Diego? Which I think it pauses. It started out as a game years ago. I was gonna say I knew the name, but I, I was I don't know what that's from. But it's from a game. Sorry, I don't know. Yes. So I haven't got a great deal more to tell you or show you. Um, I did remember to put Dolphin Fitness into the description yesterday after I'd watched the video. It all of a sudden came to me that I hadn't done it, so I popped it in afterwards. So apologies if you saw the video before I fixed that um, and the link wasn't there. If you, I do ever say I'm going to link something it's not there, please give me a prod because I've just forgotten what I've said. I very rarely have paper around to write it down and... I have a brain slightly like a zip. Didn't used to be like that, but... Anywho, so I'm going to go and start this uploading, I think. And, um, yeah, I've got a great deal more to do today. Uh, I was trying to think. Nothing else, really. If I do anything else, it's because I've chosen to faff and do stuff. Paul tells me off, he's like, why don't you ever just sit still? Why do you always think of things to do? I don't know. Can't help it. I'm a fidget. That's why I crochet so much. So I don't fidget. Anyway. So I hope you're having a nice uh, Saturday. I hope you're having a nice weekend. Um, our Sunday will just be more of the usual. Shopping. Ironing. Homework with the kids. Bathing the kids. Um, yeah, it was nice to see his dad and, um, well, Paul's dad, sorry, and Rita today, uh, and their cat, Mr. Morris. He's lovely, so friendly. Um, yeah, it's nice to see a friendly cat, because when we looked after Archie, um, Paul's dad's cat, when we lived at Paul's dad's house, uh, we had Archie, his cat, because he couldn't really take him with him. And um, both sisters had moved onto a main road, so it was it was a bit of a worry. Um, yeah, he was a very disagreeable cat. He didn't like us. I don't think he liked anybody really. He preferred Paul to me. He was a, a man's cat. Um, but yeah, so a friendly cat is a, is very refreshing. <laughs> I'm like, oh, you're nice. You like us. Um, but consequently, my black jeans are covered in cat hair. It was worth it. He's very cute. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm really going to go, because I keep saying it and I don't. So yeah, I hope you're okay. I did, uh, I started following a couple of new people uh, this morning from a uh, recommendation from Terry of the Yarn Joy podcast. Hi Terry. Um, I'll link them below. I've watched, I've watched one video. I can't for the life of me think of the name of the channel, so uh, they'll be below. Um. I've not managed to watch a video from every one of the channels she, she, um, Terry suggested, but there was about three or four, I think. Um, 
So yes, I'll pop those below. And Jenny. Hi Jenny from Jenny's Crochet Zone. Jenny? No. Is that right? Jenny's Crochet Zone? Might be. I don't know. I may have stumbled across the right name. <laughs> so sorry if I haven't. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I'll link Jenny below as well. Um, she just put another haul up. Um, some eye shard and some lollies. Oh, lollies is calling to me. I don't need it. Don't do it, Kim. Don't do it. Um, and I saw on their Facebook page today they were going to reduce some stock. I'm like, no, don't do that. <laughs> don't make it even more tempting. Oh dear. Anywho, I will get this off the camera, get it on the computer and get it uploading. Uh, yeah, and I will catch up with you all tomorrow. Bye guys.